Hello, my name is Dan Smoot. I'm the president and CEO of Riverbed. Hi, I'm Mina Migali. I'm the regional vice president for Middle East, Turkey, and Africa for Riverbed. You know, Riverbed has been founded on an uh, incredible base. We started a business on acceleration and optimization of traffic 20 years ago. And through that, we built a customer base that's incredibly loyal to what we do. But at the same time, we've been evolving our business for some time in regards to monitoring and observing different elements of the business, everything from our network performance management, application, and end user. But through that, we've also recognized these businesses are somewhat distinctive and different. So what we want to make sure we do as a company is we want to make sure that we double down in regards to what we're doing to continue to grow our acceleration business. And the other thing too is making sure as the unified observability market grows, that we're able to develop solutions that really solve for customer issues. So over the last year, we've been looking at our different parts of our business portfolios and realized that, you know what, we want to make sure that we can distinguish and differentiate ourselves as we're solving customer problems. So the Riverbed Acceleration business is really the foundational business that the company has been built on. But of course, that you know, is our optimization practices, our SD-WAN practices, client and SaaS acceleration businesses. The Alluvio, which is the other brand, is in, in our product portfolio is really focused on unified observability, looking at that foundation that we built with network performance management, application, and end user. And now with our new Alluvio cloud capabilities, we can actually take all that data and do something very special in the marketplace. That's why we've done the differentiation with the brand. As Dan mentioned, we uh, come off a rich legacy of uh, technology based on 20 years ago. However, also um, on the recent announcement of unified observability. Um, and today we have an unfailing commitment to our customers. Um, and you can see that with our CEO visiting uh, our customers in Saudi and in UAE, uh, part of our brand um, tour um, and one of his first international uh, visits uh, outside the, the US. So, you know, uh, we couple that, couple both the technology announcement with uh, the direct commitment to our customers to ensure that we're providing them value across um, the entire uh, journey. Oh, it's a great story. When we looked at Alluvio, we actually were looking at how do we actually differentiate or actually find the value in what we've been driving. And Alluvium is actually estuaries that come off of a river bed. And it's actually where the gold is. It's when you think about how you mine for gold, you actually find them in what are called alluviums. Alluv, alluv is actually how you extract gold. The I and the O, pretty, pretty simple, digital. So if you really think about what Alluvio is, it's the abstraction of the gold out of the riverbed. So if you think about what Riverbed does, right, we have all this insights for the history of what we've been doing as a company, and now we have an opportunity inside the Riverbed to abstract the gold of what the customers have been looking for, which is how do you actually deliver world-class customer and digital experiences to your end users, customers, and, and uh, across your business. You know, one of the most important things we've been trying to do is really differentiate the different parts of our portfolio. The response since we launched the brands has been outstanding. First, our customers, our partners, and more importantly, some of the industry analysts have started to recognize that there is differentiation when we talk about acceleration, some of the foundational products that we have, but more importantly, what we are doing with unified observability. We're differentiating that in the market, but you had to make sure you hit, were very distinctive in what we're trying to solve for. And so that reception has been really well received. It allows us now to go into a deeper dive in regards to the difference in both of them. But when we start talking about unified observability, it's a very complex conversation, especially when you start to extract, you know, correlate and contextualize data. Um, you have to make sure that you've got a very focused effort around your solutions and your portfolio. So in our region, uh, our visibility portfolio has been a key success factor for um, our go-to-market strategy and since 2015. Um, and that now we're expanding with our unified observability. Um, just to give you an example, one of the largest payment providers in our region um, has adopted our solution, um, not only to understand what's happening uh, in their environment, but also to pinpoint some of the problematic areas where a loss of visibility in a single transaction could cost them uh, thousands of dollars. Um, and so this is a, what we provide to one out of many of our customers uh, in the region.
you know, it is going to be a very big market um, and it's growing exponentially right now. You can actually see that in the markings, uh, the capitalization in certain companies. The difference of what's going on, and this is going to be about a $19 billion market over the next couple of years. The difference is most companies are focused on one category. They look at application performance management or network or maybe infrastructure. Alluvio by Riverbed, and specifically what Riverbed has been doing, is we actually have capabilities in all three of the major categories, network performance management, application, and end user. We're also full fidelity data. Most companies are sampling. They're looking at portions of data. We look at all data. That makes us very unique, but it's, uh, what, it's not what we're doing with the data now. It's what, how we're going to actually extract the data, correlate the data to issues that's going on in the infrastructure, and drive end user and ex uh, customer experience by trying to solve problems faster than anybody else. Can you imagine if you can extract 50, 60 percent of the alert, alert, alarms and alerts that are going on? Because in fact, you actually can actually look at the different elements across the infrastructure. We're one of the only companies that can do that. We know we've got a competitive advantage right now that most companies are going to take years to, uh, to catch up to. And that's why we feel that Alluvio by Riverbed is actually in a really compelling place to solve very tough customer problems. So for us, the, our key factor is our people and our expertise uh, that we have in-house as well as uh, our channel ecosystem. And that's what differentiates us is that we, we've built an entire ecosystem uh, of experience um, that can cater to different um, uh, customers and different uh, markets as soon as possible. Um, so it's no longer just the tool, it's, all, it's providing that complete experience that allows a, a customer to enjoy a full um, journey uh, with the tool as well as the processes and, and the framework in place in order to get the maximum value uh, out of the solution. You know, it's a balance of both. But one of the things we're focusing on the company is we also understand that solutions are very different for co corporations. Riverbed was really founded on what we did from an acceleration optimization. It's actually our largest portion of our customer base, but it has very differentiated needs for what we're trying to solve for, especially as we go into hybrid environments. You know, you have to accelerate traffic a little bit differently now. So our innovation around that doesn't matter if it's SD-WAN or, or WAN optimization or client acceleration, it's very focused. At the same time, unified observability is incredibly complex, different categories of what we're trying to serve. Well, how we develop our products and bring those solutions to market has to be very focused. We can't kind of blend them together anymore. So that's why we're actually separating them into different product groups, is to make sure that we can innovate, but not de-accelerate anywhere inside of our portfolio. I believe in our region, Middle East, Turkey, and Africa, we, we hold a very unique position where um, both solutions hold massive value. Um, let's take Africa, for example, as part of our region. Uh, acceleration is uh, common sense because of the different levels of uh, connectivity that's uh, available. However, the use cases are um, have differed from uh, for most of our customers, and these are still relevant even in the larger markets like Saudi Arabia and UAE, where cloud acceleration, SaaS acceleration, and even maintaining uh, the service levels between large amounts of data, so replication data, for example, um, these use cases are very relevant even in mature markets um, today. So um, absolutely, acceleration is a key focus for us uh, as well as our observability suite.